A mysterious respiratory illness with similarities to SARS has healthcare workers around the world, including here in Canada, on alert. At least 45 people have contracted the virus, believed to be connected to animals at a market in central China. There's growing concern human-to-human -human transmission may be possible, and that's prompted three major airports in Canada, Toronto, Vancouver and Montreal, to take precautionary measures. Reggie Cicchini reports. In the middle of an active cold and flu season, public health officials are now tracking a possible epidemic after a new virus with pneumonia-like symptoms was discovered with links to a market in China's Wuhan province. I understand they are doing some um, environmental investigation in the markets. Known as coronavirus, it comes from a larger family that includes everything from the common cold to SARS. This strain wasn't detected until early January when a person was hospitalized with suspected influenza. And it's really important in this case to understand what the route of exposure was, what the actual identity of the animal is. At least three patients who had traveled from central China have been hospitalized in both Thailand and Japan. Two are not believed to have been at the market. Investigators must now determine if the illness is spreading through Wuhan, but they don't have a clear picture. This isn't a time for panic, but it is a time for people to be alert. In the meantime, the Chinese government has ordered the suspected market closed and is being given credit by the World Health Organization for its quick action. Chinese authorities also shared the complete genomic sequence with WHO and with the public. In 2003, Chinese health agencies actively worked to cover up the details surrounding the SARS virus. The respiratory illness led to more than 750 deaths worldwide, 44 of them in Canada, the highest number of deaths outside of China and Hong Kong. Currently, there is no vaccination for coronavirus. There are immunotherapies um, that are under consideration. But that isn't enough for some medical experts. Once SARS appeared in 2003 and we knew that coronaviruses had this potential, it really was imperative that we developed countermeasures to be able to take coronaviruses off the pandemic list. And it's now 17 years later and we're seeing what happens when you don't have vaccines. These concerns come as China prepares to welcome hundreds of thousands of visitors for Lunar New Year celebrations. Travel bans have not been put in place in Wuhan province yet, and Canadian health officials have deemed the risk to travelers as low, while the U.S. Centers for Disease Control is advising people to practice usual precautions. The best advice is to probably avoid those live animal markets in Wuhan. In a protective move, passengers at local airports will have their temperatures screened. Well, in the U.S., health officials at three hubs will do the same for incoming passengers coming from or connecting from Wuhan. As health officials try to get a better understanding of a virus that knows no limits. Reggie Chikini, Global News.